All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, we're the brothers out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. This is a GMS Godspeed lesson. All right, first and foremost, we want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity, all right? Uh, coming at y'all with a quick lesson, all right? And this is going to be centered around really uh, younger brothers and dealing with a foundation and, you know, growing organically, you know, because uh, the spirit uh, that brothers were speaking on uh, just a few minutes ago at camp is uh, basically just kind of uh, uh, cultivating the young brothers to basically, uh, you know, deal deal with the basics and, and not, not get too ahead of themselves, you know, because a lot of uh, Israelites, all right, they like to basically uh, cram you know, it's, it's like a cram course, you know, where, they, where they're trying to basically get all this information in, in one hour, you know, mm -hmm. and, and trying to, you know, basically, you know, come up on a level and, and you know, but it's not organic. So you want to actually uh, grow on, on your own pace, you know, and not try to rush. You know, um, when brothers were going into it, you know, I was, I was thinking, uh, you know, because brothers always compare it to running. It's kind of like a treadmill. You know, if you're on a treadmill and you go above, uh, you go on top speed, you're going to fall off the damn treadmill, right. you know? So a treadmill is a good pace keeper because you can't, you know, it, first of all, if you go too slow on the treadmill, if you're walking, then you're not going to get any exercise. You're not going to get any benefit out of it. But if you put it at an appropriate level, then you can, you can adjust, you can adjust the treadmill to your appropriate speed, you know? All right, so uh, brothers can bring out whatever they got. Um, this is um, Ecclesiastes uh, 9 and 11. That's the spirit. It I was, says, yeah. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, so the, way, the race is not given to the swift, okay? Because, you know, as we always bring out, as brothers always make the point, is that when you sprint, right, if, if you sprint, then, then you're gonna tire yourself out. You know, if, if anyone who's ever done track or any type of sports, okay, then you'll know, like when you're, when you're in a game running, and you're just sprinting, you're not gonna be able to last throughout the first quarter, okay? You're not gonna be able to, uh, you know, even run in track. Sprinters, they can't, sprinters is a short, it's a short race. And this is a long-term race, okay? So this is a, a marathon, as brothers always say. So pace right. yourself, you know? Brothers can, you know, chime in too. Yeah, it's, it's not a 100-yard dash or a 200-yard dash, you know, where it's a quick hit, you know? Yeah. You have to pace yourself for, uh, uh, oh, one of the fruits of spirit, long suffering. Yeah. You know, so you have to practice that, you know, and, and set your mindset up for it. Of course, we want the kingdom now. We want things to happen now. But we got to understand that our timing is different from Yahweh by Shema time, you yeah. know? So of course we have to try to pace ourselves. Like uh, the brother was saying, don't go too slow. You know, don't try to do more than what you can. Just let the spirit flow. You know, you always come out better. Hey, some of the best lessons be when the spirit just flow. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> so, right. Kind, kind, that was it. The, um, you want to read that again and close yeah. it out? Yeah, keep going. Okay, yeah. um, this is Ecclesiastes 9 11. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race oh, is bad. not Start. to the oh yeah slack. oh yeah no my bad slack yeah go ahead it says I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong neither yet bread uh, to the wise nor yet riches to men under of understanding nor yet favor to men of skill but time and chance happening to them all yeah so it's all basically what it's saying is it's all through the spirit okay it's not about you know. Uh, uh, know basically showing off what you know is not about you know your physical stature or or you know all how you look you know if you're handsome none of that time and chance happening to all men so every man that that comes across this word is in their hands according to the spirit ultimately it all boils down to whether they are the whether they are the elect or not you know that's right um bring out whatever yeah second timothy chapter 2 verse 15 Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And Jake, uh, like he said, Jake want to get it all in one time. The Lord ain't working like that. You know, the, work, the Lord is going to work. Uh, uh, he's going to 
gonna suck with you in due time and, and, and the, the manifest, manifestation is gonna be given to you too. As long as you just stay in the spirit, because like the brother says, long suffering, you got patience, you got things going on in your personal life too that can maybe distract you from the truth or can, can make you go harder in the truth. So, in the spirit, the Lord, Satan. the Lord have to wear like, yeah, it is Satan. Right in front. Yeah. Tire blew out. You have to wear that. Like, like, you're gonna get it in due time. It's just some patience. You know, the Lord show us mercy to whom we have mercy on. It's not giving to the to the uh, swift. Uh, 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 and it's in the earth. Like, you know what I'm saying? God, yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, it's uh, you gotta study so so that the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai will suck with you. Okay, you know, because that's that's what it's all about. You wanna actually. Uh, uh, you know, go into these things. You know, like like the brother uh, brother was making a good point at camp. You know, before you ask questions, you know, before you ask certain things, have you taken the time to look it up on your own? And that goes into studying studying to show yourself approved. Because have you actually tried to get tried to you know seek it for yourself before so before asking someone to give it to you? And I got something real quick. This is Acts eight and thirty. Philip ran thither to him and heard him set, heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some men should guide me? And he desired Philip that he should come and sit with him. Yeah, so ultimately we do have teachers and guides to, to you know, um, coach us in the spirit, to cultivate us, you know, but, you know, the scriptures say, work out your own salvation. You know, so it's a balance. You do, you, you are relying on brothers for, for, for breakdowns and certain knowledge, you know, but the Lord, but, you know, you can't rely on them for your own salvation, okay? You actually have to, you know, work for yourself. Right. You know, it's like, it's like being on a team and, and, you know, you're on a, you're on a good basketball team, but you ain't got the skills yourself. Mm -hmm. So you're relying on uh, other players, mm -hmm. you know, to, to win the game. Meanwhile, you're not working on your your own self, but even by working on your own self, you're bettering the team. Yep, you yep, know? Kind, kind yeah, kind of. Hey, perfect example. If just say that the, the, one of the top players go out in that fourth uh -huh. quarter, and then you in the game, and, and it comes down to you uh, performing the um, uh, baby steps that you should have been, you know, performing like what. A free throw. Yep. Uh -huh. Game come yep. down to the line and then they, they fire you. You got to go on the line and shoot the free throw. Well, that's something that you just practice on on your own. Yeah. You shoot your own free throws, you know. Here it is. You either going to win the game or lose the game. See, yeah. but if you've been practicing it, you know, imagining the pressure yeah. from the game, bam. You, you. So it's the yeah. same thing. It's a perfect yeah. example. God, God. God. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got, got some. Uh, this is uh, First Peter. Um, one and two, it says, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. Because you gotta apply uh, uh, the scriptures too. And you wanna start off with the milk, knowing who you are, knowing who the Heavenly Father is, uh, knowing who Israelites is, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Those are the bases mm -hmm. that you need to, to build on top of the foundation. That's the foundation right there, because without the foundation, the, the house that you build is not going to be steady. That's right. Uh -huh. Whatever you build is not going to be steady. You got to count the cost to it. Uh -huh. you, know, uh, you got it. Uh -huh. It says, it says, as newborn babes desi desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Yep, desire the, desire the, uh, the milk so you may grow thereby. So you don't want to, like, like brothers mentioned at camp before, be the uh, jack of all trades, but not master and now one of them. You know, you don't want to be a, 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 a novice forever. The scriptures speak about a novice. So you, you want to learn on the teachers. You want to um, be be in season with with anything that you do with them is true. Right. Yep. Yeah. Any more on that? One? Nah, that, that was that was it. Got the, uh, yep, yep. Uh, yeah. see, uh, uh, this is uh, Hebrews. 12 and 1 it says wherefore seeing we also 
are compassed about uh, with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do it so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Yeah, yeah, we got a great cloud of witness, meaning we got the angels of the Lord, we got the Heavenly Father and His Son, for, for, for first and foremost, watching us, and you got brothers that's watching us, and you got mm -hmm. people throughout the four of the earth that view into the uh, YouTube and live streams and recordings that watches us. Plus, we got our own life, and we got our own sins and problems, but at the same time, we still got to endure that race by uh, standing these scriptures the best way we can. Mm -hmm. Learn at your own pace, you know? Kind. The yep. ability to stay, stay uh, within the times, knowing what the elders say, because mm -hmm. it says uh, it speaks about being in the company of the elders too. Mm -hmm. All right. Was that it on that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got this real quick. This is First uh, Corinthians nine. We can close up on this, John. First okay. Corinthians nine and twenty-four. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Okay, and that word temperate means uh, self-control, you know. And, um, you know, so we all running, but there's only one prize, you know. And each, and in this case, each every each and every individual man gets the same prize, you know. And it's just a matter of finishing. It's not about who finishes first, who finishes last. This is a race of endurance. This is a race of, like I said, everyone that crosses that finish line is going to get that same prize, you know? So I'm going to read it one more time, 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. So, hey, you got to you gotta want this thing, man. You know, you got to run. It says run, not not walk, not jog, okay? You know, run at a, at a good speed, that's, that's good for you. You know, it doesn't say sprint either, okay? And every man that strives for mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. An incorruptible. Yeah, and you know, this is talking about, you know, this is uh, in verse 24, it's basically comparing it to a real race where one actually, only one man gets the prize, but it says, uh, 25 it says now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown so yeah these races where these physical races where one one man gets the prize he gets you know a, a gold you know the olympic gold chain right. Usain Bolt right. Usain Bolt you know he gets a big gold medallion but that's it <laughs> you know but it says but we an incorruptible mm -hmm. you know because ours is what? Eternal. It's the heaven. It's the heaven. That's right. The kingdom of heaven. That's right. It says, I therefore, I therefore so run, not as uncertainty, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. Alright? You know, beating the air like uh, someone that's just boxing. You know, you just beating the air, wearing yourself out. It says, verse 27, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means... When I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it's about bringing, bringing our members under subjection, you know, and, and growing, you know, on each on an individual level, you know, and, and relying on the body at the same time, you know. So uh, so that's, you know, pretty much it. All right, uh, we'll close that. If y'all brothers had any closing points, sir. Nah, I think that's it. We hit the point. That's it. Alright, so uh, we're going to close out by uh, giving all praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem, Yahweh, Double honors to our elders and apostles, great millstone. Shalom. Shalom.